Hello. In this video, we will investigate division of fractions. As you know, we have a, a simple procedure, algorithmic procedure for division of fractions. Uh, if you want to divide a fraction into another def the fraction, it is uh, you can simply uh, invert second the fraction according to multiplication, then multiply by the first fraction. But uh, do we know exactly why do we uh, apply this algorithm uh, for division of fractions? Let's uh, let's use this uh, dynamic application uh, to explore the division of fraction. Actually, the key point is under the meaning of the division. As you know, the division has two meaning. First is a partitive division and the second is uh, the meaning of a uh, measure, measurement meaning of the division. In the partitive division, uh, we are uh, dividing the first uh, number into second number. But in the measurement division, uh, we are trying to measure the first number by the second number. In the fractions, this difference is more important. For example, For example, let's model the 3 over 4 for the first fraction and 1 over 2 by the second, uh, for, the for the second uh, fraction. And now, let's try to answer what is the result of 3 over 4 divided by 1 over 2. How much 1 over 2 exists in 3 over 4? And now we can see 1 and a half 1 over 2 exists in 3 over 4. So 1 and a half is the result. Let's try a second example. 3 over 2 over 3 divided by again 1 over 2. Can you understand how much 1 over 2 exists in 3 over 2 over 3? Now our work is harder. Let's try different number of partition what are we seeking we are trying to find out a common partition now we can see ah okay again a one complete one over two exists in 2 over 3 and and one third of one third of the 1 over 2 also exists in 2 over 3 so the result is the answer is 1 and one third of 1 over 2 exists in 2 over 3 so 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 2 is 1 and 1 third.